So yesterday I went and did something I didn't think I would be doing. I went and watched the first episode of The Greatest Hero of All Time, Echo. Let's get into my first initial thoughts on this show. This is gonna be good. <laughs> So before I actually get into reviewing the first episode of this show, let me preface this. I actually, for the most part, enjoyed Hawkeye. And from what I understand, understood, this is a spin-off from the Hawkeye show. Now, I know the Hawkeye show had issues. It had problems. It wasn't the greatest thing out there. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed the character Kate Bishop, you know, maybe a little guilty pleasure or something. I don't I don't know it. It wasn't great, but I enjoyed most of it from, you know, everything else coming out from Marvel and Disney in general. It's like whatever. But watching this, I knew from the start that it prob that I probably wouldn't like it. But I decided I was going to give this show a chance. I wanted to give it a fighting chance because, you know, I don't hate Hawkeye. You know, I, I I was hoping that, it you know, maybe maybe it's not close to what the comics and stuff are. And I'll be perfectly honest there. I haven't read the Echo comics. I don't know this character. So I was going in with the hopes that, you know what, it might not be what a lot of fans, you know, real comic book fans want. But it might not be quite as bad as they're making it sound. All right, so let me put it this way, right? I was hoping beyond hope that it would actually be okay. I and look, I'll, full disclosure, I probably wouldn't be checking out this show at all if we wouldn't be talking about it on Friday night on Friday night rumble. And at first I was like, uh, are you really going to make me watch this? And I know that there are some there that might, you know, not watch it. I don't know. Just pointing that out. But I decided, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. So in the evening when everything was done, all the housework, you know, cooking, cleaning, you know, dishwashing, all that, all that was out of the way. And I sat down for the evening. It's like, you know what? I want to torture myself. They tortured me. Went, turned on Echo. And in the first couple of minutes of the show, don't get me wrong, I actually enjoyed the cinematics of the beginning of the show. So let me put it that way. Yeah, I did enjoy that. But it came to a point within that first scene of, of the origin of the Choctaw tribe where I'm like, oh my god, did they really just do that? I'm going to point to it here in a moment, but Disney did a no-no. Disney did a no-no. They actually, Disney actually culturally appropriated the Choctaw Origin myth. You don't believe me? Let's go take a look. See ya, ya. The first Chapter's name is Chapa. This he saved our family from their game. This right here is what I'm talking about. Did she now? So they went and changed the origin myth of the Choctaw tribe from being two brothers to being a female. And this is allowed? You know, Disney and all the other shills get so upset over, over cultural appropriation, over... Football teams being called 
Redskins or, you know, Kansas City Chiefs with their arrowhead. Hypocrite. These weirdos get butt hurt over those things, cancel people over it. But this here is okay. That totally blows my mind. I don't get it. Mind's blown. You're welcome. But that was already, that was the first thing that I didn't like about the show. It's like, holy crap, they just changed the origin myth of a actual real tribe. Couldn't you stick to the true story for this? Oh boy, I guess at the end of the episode, they thanked the, Ch the Choctaw tribe. So, is, is, would that have been enough if the Redskins went and thanked the, uh, the Native Americans there? Everything would have been fine and they could have kept the name Redskins? I don't know. It's just, it's very upsetting. And that's just the beginning of the show. Horrendous writing. Some bad fighting scenes. Ever. And, you know, we find out how she loses her leg. Now, I've heard others already talk about that. If windshields broke, as they do in that show, that would be the number one cause of death around the world. Cars would be banned if windshields broke the way they do in that show and caused her to lose her leg. Right, but so this first episode was generally about how this little girl, Maya, became Echo. And, you know, starting off the story of, of the show, which is, from what I gather, just an elongated movie. And just whatever. But the first episode, the general direction that it went from this little girl how she got into an accident with the windshield, and her mother died, it went on, oh, I should probably put up spoilers somewhere here. I probably did that in the editing, you know, that there's spoilers here. Um, she goes, you know, loses her mother, and her closest family takes her to New York with him. There, he has a... Uh, body shop or car dealer type of thing. And, you know, they're into, uh, you know, Kingpin, you know, they're part of the crew, basically. And uh, you see Hawkeye take out the family, which you got to see in Hawkeye, and how she vowed to find her father's killer, and she joined up with Kingpin. Then, you know, she learned about Kingpin and that he actually wanted her father dead. So she goes and kills him or well, too much spoiler here. Oh, no. Hell no, there's not too much spoiler here. Um, later on, you know that she didn't actually kill Kingpin. He's still alive. But, you know, then from there on, she, she, you know, tries to get away. She, you know, she, she needs to, to get some distance, you know, try to figure things out. You know, wants to hit Kingpin's men where, you know, where it hurts. And, uh, I guess you find out that her ultimate goal is to become Queen Pin. Yes, that's right. She wants to become Queen Pin. Uh, spoilers, m more spoilers, spoilers on top of spoilers, Kingpin's still alive. So, that was basically, you know, that was the overall general uh, story of episode one. Generally, I don't mind the story, you know, how all that went down. Parts of the fight between her and... And Daredevil, I actually enjoyed, but there were instances where I'm like, what the hell? But with like a kick to the head that hard, 
you would be knocked out. Or at the very least, you would be tumbling, you would be incapacitated for a few moments at the very least. Right? But, you know, the show overall is so cringe from start to finish. I can't recommend it. If you want to keep your sanity, don't watch it. It's not good. I don't think it's quite as bad as some of the, based on this first episode, as bad as some of the other people out there are saying it is. But it's definitely not good. And I'm going to try to get another episode in before the Friday night stream. No promises there. I don't know if I'm going to make a review of any more of the episodes. I just thought after watching the first episode, I need to let you know my thoughts on this. And especially because I love history and I love origin myths. This one hurt. It's like Disney complains about people culturally appropriating Native Americans, and then they go and do it themselves. If, you know, they wouldn't be complaining if all these weirdos wouldn't complain about the Chiefs or the Redskins. I would have said, okay, whatever, they changed the story because it's in the Marvel Universe. It's not in the real universe. Whatever. But that's why I have to point it out. Before I continue, if you want me to review more of the show, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you've watched the first episode, what you thought of it. Have you seen the entire show already? Did you do that to yourself? Let me know your thoughts. If you if you like the show, let me know. I'm interested in knowing what you think about it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go with that. Please consider subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications, you know smash that like button. I know I'm turning it around again. Um, if you want to see me on the live stream again, I will be on with Friday Night Rumble over on Legion Talk and Simulcast on the Joker Voice. I'm going to put both links down in the description so you can check out their channels. Absolutely love the people there. And I'm glad to be a panelist over there. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time. Take care.